What is up, guys? Welcome to Roleplay R&D week number five, perhaps the final week of Apocalypse World, and also the first roleplay of 2014. Hopefully you guys had a great new year. How, how was y'all's new year? What'd you guys do? What'd you do, Marcus? Uh, it was pretty chill, JP. Thanks for asking. Uh, pretty all we chill. Did was, well, all <laughs> we did was we, we stayed in. I got, I got all these friends now that have kids, yeah. which is nice, right? Because once you have a kid, you're no longer obligated to like go out or do things. You know, I don't want to go to a crowded bar on a crazy New Year's. I just want to like be lazy and be at home and celebrate my own way. So that's what I did. So all these, all these couples, like they're either having kids or now they have kids. So it was like, you know, in at seven 30 dinner, play some cards against humanity, <laughs> chill out, you know, shoot the shit out, out at 12 Oh five. You know Boom. what? Happy fucking new year. You, you, that, that all sounds great, but I want to focus on <laughs> cards against humanity. Apparently you can play that game. Like there's cards against humanity online and it has oh, really? a full online thing that you can play. Really? I yeah. did. I, I, <laughs> JP, I did not know that. Yeah, I, I did not. My know roommate that. was playing it, and I had. I, I didn't think, know that either. I can get up to like ten or fifteen people in there. That's amazing. So I, maybe we'll. I don't know if I could actually make content out of that because it might just be too like. Role play cards against yeah, humanity. Yeah, yeah, I was going there. Yep. It might be like <sighs> too be much. Sick. Like, I don't know if we d we definitely would have to get some people that don't care about their career on that show. <laughs> that's the only way it could happen yeah yeah that, I, I yeah i see where you're going with that for yeah. sure and but happy new year everyone exactly exactly happy new year steven what'd you end up doing for new year's yeah well like we were all settled in to have like a nice quiet evening at home playing dungeon defenders i've played so much dungeon defenders with my wife this break i've probably played like 40 hours at least wow uh oh, so anyway and then all of a sudden, like one of my buddies from, from Funcom hit me up and he said, hey, I'm actually, I'm brewing beer with him. He's my beer brewing buddy. What? Uh, he said, hey, are you doing anything? I said, well, not really. He said, come out to this complete stranger's house that you talked to once at an indie games meetup and uh, have New Year's with us. And so I turned to my wife and I said, hey, let's go to New Year's at some, some stranger's house that's like 10 metro stops away. And she was like, okay. So we just went out and hung out with them, and they were, like, totally cool people. It was, like, her and her husband and then one of their friends and his girlfriend, my buddy, and us two. So there were, like, nine people total. Nice. That's seven. I think that's seven. Whatever. And we played also Cards Against Humanity, and I stayed out until, like, three. But then, of course, we had to catch a cab in, like, the frigid Montreal winter. Oh, my goodness. I thought we were going to die in, like, How the three minutes it, it took there? us to find a cab. I mean, it was probably... God, everything's like in, in Celsius. So yeah, yeah I have to convert. I think it was like minus ten that night. Holy shit, that's pretty cold. Minus ten Fahrenheit. Minus, Nita's telling me minus twenty-two Fahrenheit. Holy Whoa, shit. shit! Today, today cold. it was probably minus ten. Like, and I had to go to the that's store, nice. and it was awful. So, yes. I've never no been good. in weather that cold before. I, I don't know what that's like. So, like, neither <laughs> had I until I moved up here. And it's interesting because, like, I there's weather. That is as cold as I've ever been. And yeah. then there's all the weather that is colder than I've ever been. And like all the stuff that's colder than I've ever been, it's all lumped together in my brain. So like if it's minus 15, if it's minus 30, I'm talking Celsius, uh, my brain just sort of like lumps it all together and I just sort of deal with it. I don't realize well, once it gets that it's that cold. You don't really know sure. if it's colder yeah. than... Right. The measurement so, is just a range, and this range is fucking cold. That that's what I'm trying to say. Yeah. Thank you, DJ Wheat. Yeah. So um, that that's happy happy 2014, guys. Happy New Year. You froze your ass off, Maggie. Uh, we actually played Planet Side two on New Year's. I don't know how yeah. the hell that happened, but played <laughs> Planet Side. <laughs> I was just gonna say I was gonna be like JP. You know exactly what I was doing. Yeah. Yeah. So. I am also one of the people like DJ Wee where I do not want to go outside when it is foggy and there are a bunch of drunk people driving around. No, thank yeah, you. That's, that's true. And you can't even like get in anywhere because there's like a huge crowd of that. Um, yeah. So I opted for dress up and look fancy and drink delicious things in my own humble abode while playing awesome games. And JP joined me for a portion of that and we were streaming it. So. Five hours I may have portion, I, I may have believe. started slurring my words towards the yeah, end. Yeah, you got pretty drunk. That was pretty <laughs> JP, awesome. It was. I actually was I I came back at like three a.m. and I saw you guys streaming. Yeah. 
And I watched for like 30 seconds, and then I went to bed. I was pretty <laughs> exhausted by the end of that. That was a that was a late night. I think I crashed out well, at like 5 a.m. you were like, I'm only going to play with you guys for an hour, five hours. Well, yeah, well, I had already been streaming That's for like... That's how it happens. I had already been streaming for like 10 hours, and then we just kept playing for like six more. Yeah, which... and Planet Side 2 is one of those games where you like, it doesn't really end, so you're just like, oh, epic battles, and you just keep going. Yeah, I definitely lost track so. of time, so... Well, hopefully everyone else uh, watching out there on Twitch and if you're watching the VODs on YouTube, hopefully you had a good New Year's and uh, New Year's Eve. Uh, 2014 is going to be a fun year for roleplay R&D, and I'm excited that uh, this will be the final episode. I think it's safe to say that, correct, Stephen? This is the I final so. episode of Apocalypse it's, World. It's appropriate to make that assumption. Okay, good, good. Well, uh, let's, uh, let's jump into it, I guess. Yeah. So what happened last time? Who remembers? I lost an arm. Chaos. Where do you want yeah. us to start? Just yeah. chaos. There, there was a lot of shit that went down. Uh, Bubba, what, what's shit. this about you losing an arm? Well, I lost arms, uh, I think, yeah. didn't I? I had a. I still have an axe in my other arm that we never dealt with. I don't. I don't think you actually officially lost it. it. You. You like. You got shot and like. Any clothes on? Now you you're you're idea. broken. Is that what it is? Uh, disfigured. Disc disfigured. disfigured on the face. Yeah. Yes, that's what it was. Uh, but, but this was all a result of, of course, Bubba's gambling issues and everything that came from that. Right. Yeah. Tell me a little more about that, uh, Evan. Well, Bubba came to me. He lost everything, and uh, I, which is surprising because Bubba's actually not half bad at the cards. But uh, he came to me. He lost everything. His overalls. His damn Lambos, everything. And uh, we tried to get it back, which led to some confrontation in the square. Mm -hmm. Yeah, look and some other guy that I don't really care to even remember his name because he's an asshole anyway. But you're probably going to remind me what his name is. Fleece. Fleece? Is it Fleece? <laughs> yeah. Fleece. Fleece. Yeah, that dickhead. Yeah, so we got in a little altercation. And, uh, and, and Eli threw me into uh into containment so i don't know what the hell was going on during that time yeah uh and like later there was a trial and uh of it wasn't evan really a trial it was just like two guys talked and then a bunch of shots started happening yeah <laughs> why was, was i chained to shooting. a pole for that that's ridiculous yeah uh and like what was the weird guy with the arm, the the special arm? What happened with that, Bubba? Yes. Oh, Fuse's arm. Yeah. Yeah, he like uh, he was trying to be like Bubba and try to understand machines or whatever. So he fucking like fused a rocket launcher to his arm or some shit. Mm hmm. A missile. And then launcher. he gave it to you. Yeah. The very end of the episode, I ended up acquiring <laughs> it, and he told me to uh, to take him out. That's. I think that was the last thing that happened on the episode. Yeah, so. JP got his Take new arm off. thing. <laughs> uh, Emberly, what were you doing while all this nonsense was going down? Oh, man. I was just trying to find people, and then yeah. chaos ensued. Matilda became infected and had to take care of that. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. We kind of settled down the stuff that was going on with uh, Fleece and Look. Kind of. Well, look out of way. <laughs> Did we away. settle it down with bullets? Is settled that how we settled No, down? no, we settled it down with words at first, and then oh, okay. bullets happened afterwards. All right. He but came back. He mm. came back with his crew. Yeah. Infected were all over the place. My town is going to shit. <laughs> who, else had a, who else had a crew, Emberly? Um... Yeah, we had Infected. We had was, our crew. You did. And look, You had, had a crew. Yeah. Oh, yeah, so you got a pretty... gang last episode. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, I don't know how many of them have survived. <laughs> well, I mean, that's really how yeah. the show goes is we get new cars and then we just never, like, use them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. The battle gang, bus. And they all die. A, a and, plate yeah. from, the, from the battle bus. That's, that's, so that's all we got. Hey, hey, he drove the battle bus. It broke down. It broke he down in, like, the first five it seconds. Yeah, it was, like, it, it you... drove, like, ten feet. Yeah. yeah, and then I parkoured off the bus and took a fucking axe to the shoulder and stuff like. Also, how do Lots I how do I get that. a disfigured face when I took a shotgun to the chest, which had nothing to do with that, and an axe to the shoulder? 
Did I like I get it when I fell? We I didn't don't really think that disfigured that. necessarily applies to your face. No, I think that's what I said because I'm no longer pretty. I think oh, that okay. was what we said, but yeah, I don't know if that works. Saying, but it doesn't really work with what had happened. Yeah. Well, you, maybe you fell and scraped your face up real bad. Maybe so. Yeah. Who knows? Yeah. Well, you lost. Um, oh, yeah. And, uh, and uh, Kettle and we think twice are both dead. We saw someone run out well, of there screaming. We don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Um, they're dead. They're probably we'll, dead. We'll find out very soon. But first, let's change our highlighted stats. So look at your sheets and uncheck your currently highlighted stats. Oh, where's my pencil? <clears throat> All right. Well, are you playing Bubba today, Wing? No, 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 no. <laughs> I thought you said wear my pants. I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> well, that too. That's a very common uh, issue with streamers, but so well, we, Bubba, won't, we won't know. <laughs> exactly. Who knows you the best? Uh, I have the most history right now with uh, with Emberly. Emberly, which of Bubba's stats is the most interesting? Hmm. Well, obviously, he's not as pretty now. So hot is out of the picture. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm at minus two um, hot. That's actually hmm. I'm thinking I'll go with sharp. Okay. All right. Well, then you're going to um, choose hot, aren't and you? And Bubba, I'm ready to see you go hard. Okay. <laughs> I feel like you've... Uh, <laughs> At, You've had at enough. Four harm. Go hard, Bubba. Yep. Do this, it. This is how the Do session's going to go. All right, guys. Let's start. Uh, <laughs> Bubba, you're dead. And uh, yeah, that's cool. The you, ghost you of Bubba hard. can always continue. <laughs> yeah, you exactly. just have half your stats. Exactly. Oh, uh, my gosh. She's going to come back in like a toga. And, like, Bubba, you're people. actually at five harm, aren't you? Uh, oh, no, five, I'm Jesus. at... I, my harm dial or whatever is... I have nine and... Or sorry, I have 10 and 11 checked. I don't have yeah, 12 yeah, yeah. checked. So that's five harm. One, two, three, four, five. Good. Oh, right, 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 right. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. Evan, who knows you the best? Uh, definitely Bubba. Hmm. Bubba, which of Evan's stats is the most interesting? Uh, you know, I want him to be weird this episode. Okay, cool. Uh, Evan, man, you got to be cool. You got to be cool, Evan. So that's what I'm highlighting for you. Is that the is is, is that's not going to have a, be a problem with my? Uh, oh fuck! God, you're just so hard. You're just yeah. hard all the time. Yeah. Uh, yeah. All right, then I'm 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 highlighting sharp for you. Okay. And Emberly, who knows you the best? Oh, let's see. Looks like Bubba and Evan are tied. So. All right. I'll let Evan tell you which of your stats is the coolest. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say cool. Cool for Emberly. Yep. And Emberly, I love seeing you play with that bracelet and learn fascinating things. So I'm going to highlight your weird. Hmm. It actually uses my sharp. Oh, does it now? Yeah. Okay, then let's go my... with. Yeah, of course. And oh, that that's... would also really suck because that would have been zero and a negative one stat. Yeah, I know. That would have been especially interesting. All right. I'll I'm give almost you dead, sharp. too. Before we start, what did you choose as your level up week? Because you, you, you leveled up at the end of the last episode and you didn't choose it. So I, uh, I just choose um, to get plus one sharp. Okay. Ah, cool. So I now have two sharp. Good. So. What? 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 Uh, Adobe is complaining at me. All right, so uh, <laughs> it's um, first of all, the entire center of town is completely demolished. There's been grenades flung all over everywhere. Uh, Bubba drove the crane, fuses crane into the middle of town, carrying a swinging and rocking ambulance, uh, Kettle's house in the magnet, knocking into things, crushing cars, and dropping the ambulance in the middle, picking up a massive barricade of cars and junk and dropping it on look. Um, so the middle of town is just completely destroyed. Uh, there's dead bodies 
flying everywhere. There's a couple of ram- random fires that are just sort of burning on in the distance where, you know, maybe a couple of cars had a little extra gasoline in them. We got hit by shrapnel, something like that. Um, there is a red light, almost like a lighthouse light on top of the crane, and it is circling uh, uh, as a as a siren, as an alarm, signaling the distress of paradise. Um, it's about 9.30 p.m. It's, it's late at night. Stars are starting to come out. Moon is rising. And Bubba, um, you collapse against the door of the crane. Mm-hmm. And uh, it pushes open and you fall out into the dust. Mm-hmm. And uh, your blood is running freely out of multiple wounds in your body. And you are in serious trouble. Right. Um, now... Emberly and Evan, correct me if I'm wrong, but you were both in Lambo 2, uh, the cement truck. You'd driven right. with right. your gang, including, um, what was his name, Brock? One uh, of your Brock gang members? Brock was actually not with us. He was taking Yeah, Brock Eli. actually went to yeah, He was trying to get people. to the ambulance, and then <laughs> JP picked it up, and I don't oh, know. Oh, yeah, that's right. Brought that's it right. into the middle of town. But we, yes. were, with, we were with Emberly's gang. Yes. But you yeah. are you're here died, in, in the middle of town, and you see Bubba tumble out of the crane. And he's wearing, like, a robe with a hood on it now, right, Bubba? Yeah, yeah. And nothing yeah. underneath, apparently. I, right. I don't know I mean, where don't any have of my armor it. or anything is. Yeah, you don't have anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, exactly. okay, so what do you guys do? Um, the first thing I want to do is get my fucking guns back. Okay. Because I was in quarantine. Um, yeah. And so, um, Bubba, we need, to help, we need to help Bubba, but I need to get my guns back in this as yeah. well. Cool. So you're going to go off looking for your guns? Yes. Are you telling Emberly? Are you just yes. like, storming off? Yes, and you know what? I'm going to leave behind that last uh, med pack that I have. The okay. last uh, HQ first aid kit and give okay. it to Emberly. How are you Save. carrying that around with you? Oh, fuck. You're probably right. I probably don't. God damn it. That's why I need my guns because <laughs> it, my fucking first aid kit was there. Bubba, I've got to find the first aid kit, which also happens to have my guns. Yeah. I'll be right back. Okay. I go, I go to flick him off, but then I realize I don't have an arm. <laughs> oh, no. All right. I'm like, wait, 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 wait. Um, I'm going to send one of my people with him, so I'm gonna, I'll am gonna, i just make up a name, I guess. Zillia, okay. go with Evan. Make sure that he gets his stuff safely and, you know, keep him cover. And you already have a shotgun that we gave you, right? That Brock gave yes, you? Yes, and yeah. I have a handgun as well. Yeah. Mm. Uh. The the name of the woman you send off with um, with Evan is Batty. 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 Okay, fine. My name wasn't good enough. Oh, did you make a name? Yeah, I said Zillia, and then you oh. just made up a new Sorry, name. Sorry, I totally I'm like <laughs> Zillia is too hard to say. Batty. I like, <laughs> like no. A, like a, We're going with Zillia. I didn't hear you make up a name. No, that's great. I love Zillia. Okay, so Zillia peels off from the group uh, that's sort of clustered around you, Emberly. And she says, yes, boss. And she heads off with Evan. Um, so you're here in the middle of town. Are you, like, Bubba's bleeding on the floor in front of you. What are you doing? I'm going to try to help Bubba, I guess. Uh, All right. Do I have a belt on? Can I, like, take my belt off and wrap it around his arm to make sure he stops bleeding? Absolutely. Okay. Yeah, so you wrap your belt around, you know, like what's left of Bubba's arm. You pull an axe out of it and toss it to the side. (laughs) All right, Um, I'm like, I'll try to help him up and we got to find, I don't even know if Kettle's still alive. um, Corbett comes running over with her her pink mohawk sort of, uh, uh, she's not very well put together right now. She's a little bit uh, on the harried looking side. She runs up, her pink mohawk sort of flopping all over, and she says, Bubba, Bubba, Emberly, what's wrong with Bubba? I, his, I, don't, know, he's, I don't know what happened. I wasn't with him. I, I, his arm's missing. We got, we, got a, we got to find Kettle. Have you seen Kettle? Uh, Corbett sort of looks over towards Kettle's house, which has collapsed in the middle of the marketplace where you guys are right now, uh, and she says, uh, I'll go look. And she runs off towards Kettle's place. Um, Evan, 
are you like going back to your house? It actually, like Eli uh, stashed everything at his place. Okay, so, so you're going I'm to going to Eli's, place. right? Yeah. Okay. Um, you get over towards Eli's. Uh, like, what would Eli live in? What is what does Eli's place look like? I think. I mean, I think we I, already. You, yeah, you explained it. this before because I went into his house before. You said yeah. it's like pretty nice. No, he yeah. had like a, he had like a carpet and like a nice oak table or like mm-hmm. a wood table and like a, an actual light hanging from a light fixture. But I yeah. don't know that we ever talked about what the outside of it looked like. Did we? Well, the the outside, uh, while still composed of cars, is actually probably one of the shiniest places uh, around Paradise, mm. and uh, and that it still has some windows per se. I'm assuming that asshole has them rigged up so he can electronically push them up and down at his leisure. But uh, yeah, as far probably. as I'm concerned, you can see that thing from a mile away, and you know who lives there. Yeah. No, definitely. Maybe there's like a little bit of extra chrome on the outsides. Probably. Uh, awesome. So you walk up and like the the light inside is on and it's like you can see it sort of moving and casting shadows out through these windows. What well, do do? Uh, knowing that uh, Eli is not in the greatest condition anyway, uh, I'm just going to have my shotgun armed and prepped and I'm going to kick the fuck out of that door and walk in there like I own the room. All right. You... Uh, slam your boot into the door and the door goes flying inwards which is incidentally not the way that it's designed to turn because it's a car door Uh, (laughs) so you just like slam the shit out of it and it flies off of its hinges Uh, and there's two people in there uh, and they start and they look up at you uh, and both of them are wielding like um, basically swords but they're, they're like iron rebar that's been hammered into a sword shape. You can still see, like, the ridges from from the bar, and they don't even have any hilts or handles or anything. They're just holding these, like, bladed-looking things. Uh, and they turn to you and they say, Back the fuck off! Who the hell are you? Uh, you boys happen to be with Shaza? Uh, they, they sort of look sidelong at each other. They say, Who wants to know? Well, uh... I, I- I'm Evan Masters, and all you need to know is that uh, Shaz and I have an agreement. Now, I came over to Eli's house to basically get my weapons back. I don't really give a fuck what you guys are up to. I know that Shaza has his own prerogatives, and he probably sent you out to complete some secret missions. Well, un- understand that I'm on my own secret missions, and this requires me to get all my shit back. So I'm going to go to this locker right over here. I'm going to grab my shit out of it, and then you boys can go back to your business. Uh. They, they turn to each other and they sort of whisper under their breath. They turn back to you, they say, Do you know the secret handshake? Uh, didn't he teach me the secret handshake? I don't, I don't think that he did. He didn't? Didn't Chaz so. teach me the secret handshake? Um, uh, boys, I, no, I don't know the, the secret handshake, but uh, you probably don't know the secret, secret handshake. So I'm not going to hold that against <laughs> you guys. Me and Shazza got our own thing going on. I'm sort of like a black ops kind of guy. Again, I need to get my shit. My friend's bleeding out. You boys look like you're busy. I'm going to take it and be over with. All right. This sounds like a manipulate role to me. Yeah, of course. So let's go ahead and get that going. And I need to actually get in the roll 20. So hang on. Okay. Right. Now's our chance. Rewrite the whole map. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. All right, cool. I'm in. All right, let's see it. We roll that All right. uh, plus hot, or in your case, minus hot. Seven. Oh, so good. All right. So that's a uh, seduce or manipulate. Um, yeah, uh, they look at you and they say, oh, the secret, secret handshake. Um, and, and one of them turns to the other and he says, hey, Chin, you know, I think I heard Shazza talking about a secret, secret handshake. And let's see, Chin and uh, Brace Win. That's these two guys. Uh, you, you actually sort of think that you've seen these guys hanging out around Shaza and like... Brace Win, the one on the left, is actually wearing a bead vest. You know, like one of Shaz's bead vests. 
Uh, and he turns to Chin and he says, you know, Chin, I think, I feel like I heard Shazza mention something about the secret, secret handshake, man. And Chin says, all right, Evan, look, we know you need to get your stuff, but we also know that you're a dangerous guy. So we'll let you in if you leave your guns with us. Now, maybe you don't understand. I need my guns, but I'll tell you what, I'll let you have this shotgun and this pistol, I just need to get my hunting rifle, my assault rifle, my grenades, my gear, my HQ first aid kit, and all that other shit that I, that I got. So if you guys need these guns, that's cool. I'm grabbing mine. I'm going to give you these. Uh, Bracewind turns to Chin and says, Chin turns back and says, Chin says, okay, but we're keeping your AP ammo. <laughs> You, you guys, I have a assault rifle and a hunting rifle, and if you think that that AP ammo will actually work in your shotgun, then you're a lot fucking dumber than I thought. So let's just keep it with the original deal. I'll take my guns. You guys take these. In fact, this pistol doesn't even have any ammo in it, so you'll have to find some. But they're, they're good weapons. Trust me, I took out like eight fucking infected with this one. Yeah, Chin sort of gets this, this look on his face. He puts his hands on his hips. It's one of his hands still holding that, like, sword thing. Uh, he says, All right. All right, Evan Masters, you drive a hard bargain. Be our guest. And he, they, they sort of both step aside, and they sort of wave towards the inner room where you know that you left your uh, med kit and your guns and stuff over at Eli's place. I'm waiting for the, for the teapots to come out of the cupboard. What do you do? Uh, what, they, they lead me into the room? They... they they step aside and oh. allow you to pass. Um, well, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and pass and go into the room. Awesome. Um. Yeah. Uh. Like, you're you're in there, and it takes you a couple seconds to like find where your stuff is. Like, actually, Eli looks like he's had got like a couple people's stuff. There's even like a big bundle that looks like it's tied up with an overall and there were like some poker chips on the inside um, mm -hmm. maybe it's like fleeces stuff um, but you're grabbing all your shit when all of a sudden from behind you you feel this like iron bar slam into your skull uh, and that deals you one harm um, and for the purposes of this it's AP because it hits you in the head so where's Zillia in all of this? Where is Zillia? Yes, Zillia is with, uh, with Evan. So we should, uh, we should see what she's up to. Evan, did she come in with you? Well, she did. And, you know, just sort of uh, stood to the side, let me take control of the situation. Um, I assume that she's going to react once these guys make a move on me. Would you roll sharp for me? Absolutely, fucking lootly I'll roll sharp. Plus two. Ten. Oh, yes. Nice. It's exactly as you say. So um, the, the, the sense of this bar slamming into your head, it actually doesn't do one harm to you. It just sort of dings the top of your skull as you hear Chin <laughs> uh, shout, Ah, fucking bitch! And he, like, falls on top of you, and uh, you hear this, like, click sound of, like, a huge pistol being cocked, and then... The entire, like, all of Fleece's stuff explodes with, like, red gore. And uh, uh, Zillia is standing there over uh, Bracewind's corpse. Uh, and she says, Evan, I've got your back. Let's get the fuck out of here. These fuckers need to learn their place. Uh, and Chin, yeah. sort of, Chin sort of scrambles to his feet and he says, You, you're, you're one of Emberly's girls. Shaz is going to hear about this. Shaz is going to hear about this. And he goes running out the door. No, you... before he goes running out the door, Shaz yeah. is going to hear about fucking you questioning me and the secret, secret handshake, you son of a bitch. So I don't go. Why, I wanna, I wanna... Why aren't you shooting him? Zillia like, just sort of looks at you I've sideways. Because I've got to put my armor on. She's, she's like, just giving you this look like, 
Secret hint? You got a secret secret don't, handshake? Don't Shout. you you know, Batty, don't don't worry about it, honey. I'm gonna <laughs> just let me let me get dressed. You don't need to turn around either, um, as I put my armor back on. And I need to yeah. check out these other things. Can I can I please uh like check out the this room before we evacuate? Yeah, absolutely. Like you you comb through the room and you find like an uh, odds and ends worth one barter, basically. Okay. You find some poker chips. You find uh, an old VHS of uh, In the Heat of the Night. Oh, yeah. Another VHS. <laughs> um, so, um, do, did, they, did he take my weapons then? Yeah, yeah. Um, okay. Did, sorry, did who take your weapons? Well, I gave, a, I, right, I, I handed over the shotgun and the pistol. Yes, well, who, Chin, who? Chin took your pistol and your shotgun with him when he left. Yeah, but, but you he have didn't all give of one your, to his buddy. What an no. asshole. What a dick. Okay. He was holding okay. Them both. Great. But I've got all my shit back. All right. Sounds we good. We need to take this first aid kit to Bubba. Uh, Zillia says, all right, Evan. Let's go. Now, uh, back in the center of town. Meanwhile. I smack her on her ass as she Steven, turns around. I, do, 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 do. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Two questions. One, how far from present day are we in this world? Uh, Very odd question, like I know, but... 100, 150 years in the future, something like that? Okay, second question. How is this thing, this missile launcher, attached to my arm? Because well, it's actually like... Arm. the the. So you do still have an arm. It it's, has it's not like been It's like a nub, chopped. right? Uh, it's like you got like stabbed in the in the shoulder, and it's like it's sort of hanging on by a thread. Oh, okay. You okay. still have it. So it's the left arm. The right arm, I don't have anything. Right? Uh... You don't have a right arm? No, isn't that the one that got shot off? I thought I lost an arm or something. Yeah, I don't think he you lost... actually... Did you literally lo I lose I thought he an lost arm? an arm last time, and then this time his yeah. other arm got messed up. His, yeah, wow. I, took a, I took an axe to my... like You said where the shoulder blade basically is. Yeah, the, but it just, stuck in, it just stuck in the joint. Okay, so that's the arm that the missile launcher is attached to. Yeah, okay. that's what the missile launcher is on. Can I, uh, can I try to stand up on that, like... Put the missile launcher on the ground and like hoist it's actually up. like an entire arm exoskeleton. It's like a piece of metal and machinery that sort of encases your entire arm. And on the back of it, there's this like huge, uh, like multi chambered missile launcher. Okay, so this is Badass. well, g go ahead, Emberly. Then I'll do what I was gonna do. <laughs> well, while Evan was doing all of that, I'm gonna use I'm gonna use the kit that Evan gave me. Okay, and try to like. Do whatever I can while um, what's your face is trying to find kettle, mm -hmm. and just kind of stop the bleeding as much as possible. And just what am I seeing around as well? Um, I'll try to fidget with my bracelet. Um, so there's just like a couple of people sort of milling around, and like uh, your gang is sort of fanned out around you, um, uh, and they're sort of they're all keeping their eyes out. They've got their clubs and their guns, sort of pointed outwards they're guarding you um and you saw corbett go running into the ambulance where where kettle's place was uh and you're fiddling with your bracelet is that what you're trying to do now yeah well, after i check out and look around and i feel like there's not much i can do other than wait yeah and you're also beginning to like you know uh, start bandaging up um bubba and and stuff all right so steven this is this is what happens i i like yeah. put the I like put my hand on the ground to stand up, mm -hmm. and like as I'm doing that, I basically, I guess I I'm off balance or something, and I like fall back onto my back, and mm -hmm. a missile goes straight up into the air. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and I'm just like shit. Yeah, so uh, you fall backwards, a missile launches, <sighs> it creates this huge woof as it as it rockets out. Uh, would you set your missile count to two, please? Sure. Uh, JP, we have enough chaos. <laughs> Why are you adding your own? It's uh, Bubba. <laughs> Emberly, are you like trying to hold this guy down? He's clearly not in the best of mind frame yeah, of mind. Yeah, I mean that's what I was. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so let me see about make this. Make him not bleed everywhere. Evan Masters has an angel kit. Counts as an angel kit. Um, yeah, you start like applying stuff to um, Bubba, and as you do, um, Corbett comes running out of the 
of the uh, ambulance. And she's got like a couple. She's got like a couple random bandages and like narco stabs and stuff in her in her hands. Um, I can't hear see. you. Oh my god! Can you not? Can nobody no, hear me? We, I, I can, can hear, hear you. you. I think Skype's just kind of lagging for Maggie. Oh. Can you hear me, Maggie? Oh, she can't hear anyone. Maggie, no. are you turned down? What has happened? Well, Maggie, we need you to roll weird <laughs> for us to uh, be able to talk to you again. Yeah. I don't Can know. Do you see us? Okay. Oh, oh, there you go. You back? What just happened? Skype's weird know. sometimes. Weirdness. <laughs> I like it. Was, uh, e, e. <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah, okay. It was definitely Skype then. All right, cool. Cool. Uh, good. So, um, so while I was bandaging him, that's all I got. You you end up with two stock of stuff to use for um, for Bubba. So go ahead and roll plus two the two stock that you're spending to try and bandage him up. 